The Akaya Lunar has long been our favorite espresso scale, and popular opinion suggests we're not alone. At a glance, it's easy to get an idea of why. There's a lot more beneath that sleek aluminum frame that puts the Lunar head and shoulders above its competition. Let's start with the simple stuff. Lunar is super fast and accurate. This is a huge part of what makes Akaya's products so popular among coffee hobbyists and professionals. When you're making coffee multiple times a day, or hundreds, you want something that feels responsive and precise. It's like the difference between using a phone that's snappy and responsive versus one that lags through menus. The actual difference in time may just be a second, but the difference in feeling is massive. Akaya also spends a lot of time ensuring their scales are extremely precise. While they display weight down to the tenth of a gram, they're actually built to be accurate down to the thousandth. Even better, Akaya includes a calibration weight with every lunar, so you can keep it perfectly calibrated in perpetuity. The sleek aluminum shell is meant to last too. To put it in a positive light, we've stress tested the lunars in our office over the years, and even when dropped from counter height, they still only suffered superficial damage. They're also water resistant. Akaya stops short of saying waterproof, but speaking from our experience, we've used these heavily over the years and have yet to see one suffer water damage. An impressive feat for something that spends most of its time beneath what is essentially a boiling water faucet. With all that covered, it's time to start digging into the software. While design helps set Akaya apart, it's the features they've programmed into their scales that really seal the deal. The timer on the left is started with a single tap of the power button, and weight is displayed on the right. Handy, functional, but let's be honest, a bit pedestrian. Let's get into the really cool stuff. Cycling to the next mode by holding the power button, we see a new symbol appear, the water droplet. This is the auto timer mode, and it's something that you won't find on most other scales. When the scale detects the slow increase in weight associated with the first drops of espresso, it'll automatically start the timer. Likewise, when you stop your shot, it'll automatically stop the timer. While we generally recommend starting your timer right when coffee and water meet, you can count for this difference in time after a few shots. That makes this an incredibly useful feature for those in a cafe or coffee cart that produce high volumes of drinks by significantly reducing the number of actions required. Moving on, we'll hold the power button down once again to cycle to the next mode, which happens to be my favorite. It has a significantly less catchy name, Auto Tear Auto Start Timer Mode, but it's super useful and reliable. Essentially, when the scale detects a stable weight, like a cup, it'll automatically tear the weight and start the timer. With this on your drip tray, all you have to do is set your cup down and start the shot at about the same time, and the Lunar handles the rest. I prefer this mode because it counts the time before your first drops of espresso while still keeping the process streamlined. Lastly, we have our Auto Tear Mode. This does exactly what you'd expect. It simply automatically tears any stable weight placed atop the scale. It's best used with the scale on your drip tray, where it'll automatically tear the weight of a cup, but not that steady flow of espresso. With these five modes, you have your pick between dead simple scale functionality and smart software that allows you to streamline your espresso experience. Combined with the Lunar's durability and good looks, we think it's easy to see why this is our favorite coffee scale. If this video answered your questions about the Akaya Lunar, be sure to hit the like button. If it didn't, or if you want to argue about which auto mode is the best, I'd be glad to chat in the comments below. For more coffee knowledge, tap subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.